Great. Okay, so question two. The masses of 50 bags of flour were measured and the results were summarised as follows. Now, you don't have to do this, but look, they've, they've done this as being x minus 1.5 as the thing there. Now, when we did this, it's a long time ago now, but we talked about the idea of coding. And using a coding, we tended to use another variable to represent the coding. Now, this, this is not an essential thing for doing this, but I might think, I would look at this and think I want to write y equals x minus 1.5, and then rewrite it in terms of y, and then convert it at the end to give my answer in terms of x. So y is what you get if you subtract one and a half kilograms from every single mass of every bag of flour, all of the 50. So now we've got n is 50, we've got sigma y is 1.4, and sigma y squared is 0 0.05. And we're going to find the mean and standard deviation of y, and then we're going to convert it back into x. So the mean of y, y bar, <coughs> is sigma y over n. So that is 1.4 over 50. So we get um, 7 over 250, or... What is that? All right, it's gone. Not being not two eight, of course it is. Okay, so that's that's y bar, the mean of y. The standard deviation of y. Now notice, Richard, I'm, I'm not putting any smiley faces on here because this is stuff that you you've remembered. Standard deviation is the square root of sigma y squared over n minus the mean squared. Again, no smiley face because we, we, we need to learn this bit. So this is the square root of 0 0.05 over 50. Take away 0 0.028 squared. So we're going to work that out. Square root 0 0.05 over 50. Oh, I've just typed in 51. Minus 0 0.028 squared gives me 0 0.047, and I'm going to write that to three significant figures. Okay, we have found the mean of y and the standard deviation of y, but the question was about x, the bags of flour. So now we need to undo the coding. Now if y is x minus 1.5, x bar is y bar plus 1.5. So the mean of x is... 0 0.028 plus 1.5 to 1.528 kilograms. Or 1.53 if we're going to give our answer to three significant figures. And the standard deviation of x... Well, actually, just thinking about this, then we had the original data. Imagine you can see all the individual weights for the base of flour. We took one and a half kilograms away from the wall, which just shifted the whole lot down the scale. Did it alter the spread of the data at all when we took one and a half from every value? It didn't, did it? So the, the standard deviation of our original data is the same as the standard deviation of the coded data. So that's our standard deviation figure. We'd only have to adjust that if as part of our coding we had multiplied or divided by anything. That would have altered the spread, not adding or subtracting. There we go. That's a pretty cool six marks, isn't it? I think that's all right. You can get that. And that's maths.